Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our first screenshot since a while of the slaughterhouse. Now let's take a look at this real quick. We have the, some bones hanging on the left there. Uh, Sonny would have had to have ducked to go under those to not make any noise. Got a little bit of blood right in front of him right there. Was a body moved? Did somebody get slapped and they dropped blood on the ground right there? Sonny is surrounded by a lot of meat, then that means he is obviously in the house of slaughter. The first screenshot of the slaughterhouse was revealed back around the, the time they started showing the maps. Now we get another one and you can see Sonny is here with all the hooks over top of him. I wonder if uh, Leatherface can actually hook him up on any of those hooks or if they are just up there for show. That would be a very dangerous place to be if Leatherface could actually stun you and then get you up on one of those hooks. That would make for a very dangerous map. You can see that this map is sunny, no pun intended. It is not dark or sunset like the other two maps, as we do know that this map takes place currently in full sunlight. Now, at this point in the match, you're probably about midway through because you just fought to get out of the basement. The next level is the surface, which is going to be a little bit more complicated and a little bit more of a defense up there because now you have all three family members to contend with and then you just gotta work on your escape everything involving the meta in between all that like tools gates objectives we don't know too much about that's the part we still need a little bit more explanation for but just to catch the new folks up a little bit on some of the things that go on in a match that we do know is Grandpa is on the map as an NPC. You gotta feed him blood as a family member to get him specific perks. There are no duplicate characters on the map on the survivor side or on the killer side. You can only pick one Sonny, one Connie for example. Each victim and family has various traits and special abilities. Each side will have a way to offend and defend. Stealth and watching your stamina are major assets to the gameplay. And this time around, you cannot kill the family killers. You cannot get rid of them and, and do away with them like you can Jason Voorhees. And then, of course, there's a lot in between. I will go over everything as soon as we get around towards the end of these screenshots. You do start off in the basement, strung up, tied up, and you have to get loose. Then once down and loose in the basement, you got to evade Leatherface as he will be starting with you also down in the basement. You got to get the tools, get the assets you need to start making your way up to the surface. That's going to take a good few minutes. And this at this point, this is where Sonny has made it to the surface. The next thing to do is to try to escape off the premises. How you do that exactly? I mean, it's some things have been shown and there are guesses, but we don't know everything that goes on in the middle of all this that we know so far. So keep a lookout. If you have questions, I'll answer them down in the comments. Every time a picture is posted, I do try to cover it with a short two to five minute video right here for these screenshots that they're dropping. It seems on the weekly, the game's getting closer and closer. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for stopping in once again. Bye bye.